Princess Alice of the United Kingdom Princess Alice V.A.C., Alice Maud Mary, born on the April 25, 1843, died on the December 14, 1878, was Grand Duchess of Hesse and by Rhine from June 13, 1877 until her death in 1878 as the wife of Grand Duke Louis IV. She was the third child and second daughter of Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom and Prince Albert of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha. Alice was the first of Queen Victoria's nine children to die, and one of three to predecease their mother, who died in 1901. Her life had been enwrapped in tragedy since her father's death in 1861. Alice spent her early childhood in the company of her parents and siblings, traveling between the British royal residences. Her education was devised by Prince Albert's close friend and advisor, Christian Friedrich, Baron Stockmar, and included practical activities such as needlework and woodwork and languages such as French and German. When her father became fatally ill in December 1861, Alice nursed him until his death. Following his death, Queen Victoria entered a period of intense mourning and Alice spent the next six months acting as her mother's unofficial secretary. On July 1, 1862, while the court was still at the height of mourning, Alice married a minor German prince, Louis of Hesse. The ceremony, conducted privately and with unrelieved gloom at Osborne House, was described by the Queen as more of a funeral than a wedding. Alice's life in Darmstadt was unhappy as a result of impoverishment, family tragedy and worsening relations with her husband and mother. Alice showed an interest in nursing, especially the work of Florence Nightingale. When Hesse became involved in the Austro-Prussian War, Darmstadt filled with the injured, the heavily pregnant Alice devoted much of her time to the management of field hospitals. One of her organizations, the Princess Alice Women's Guild, took over much of the day-to-day -day running of the state's military hospitals. As a result of this activity, Queen Victoria became concerned about Alice's directness about medical and, in particular, gynecological, matters. In 1871, she wrote to Alice's younger sister, Princess Louise, who had recently married, Don't let Alice pump you. Be very silent and cautious about your interior. In 1877, Alice became Grand Duchess upon the accession of her husband, her increased duties putting further strains on her health. In late 1878, diphtheria infected the Hessian court. Alice nursed her family for over a month before falling ill herself, dying later that year. Princess Alice was the sister of Edward VII of the United Kingdom and German Empress Victoria, wife of Frederick III, mother of Empress Alexandra Fyodorovna of Russia, wife of Nicholas II, and maternal grandmother of Queen Louise of Sweden, second wife of Gustav I. Adolf, and Louis Mountbatten, first Earl Mountbatten of Burma, the last Viceroy of India. Another daughter, Elizabeth, who married Grand Duke Sergei Alexandrovich of Russia, was, like Alexandra and her family, killed by the Bolsheviks in 1918. In November 1878, the Grand Ducal household fell ill with diphtheria. Alice's eldest daughter Victoria was the first to fall ill, complaining of a stiff neck in the evening of 5th of November. Diphtheria was diagnosed the following morning, and soon the disease spread to Alice's children Alex, Marie, Irene, and Ernest. Her husband Louis became infected shortly thereafter. Elizabeth was the only child to not fall ill having been sent away by Alice to the palace of the Princess Charles of Hesse, her mother-in-law. Marie became seriously ill on 15th of November, and Alice was called to her bedside, but by the time she arrived, Marie had choked to death. A distraught Alice wrote to Queen Victoria that the pain is beyond words. Alice kept the news of Marie's death secret from her children for several weeks, but she finally told Ernest in early December. His reaction was even worse than she had anticipated, at first he refused to believe it. As he sat up crying, Alice broke her rule about physical contact with the ill and gave him a kiss. At first, however, Alice did not fall ill. She met her sister Victoria as the latter was passing through Darmstadt on the way to England, 
and wrote to her mother with a hint of resumed cheerfulness on the same day. However, by Saturday, 14th of December, the anniversary of her father's death, she became seriously ill with the diphtheria caught from her son. Her last words were Dear Papa, and she fell unconscious at 2.30 a.m. Just after 8.30 a.m., she died. Alice was buried on December 18, 1878 at the Grand Ducal Mausoleum at Rosenhohe outside Darmstadt, with the Union flag draped over her coffin. A special monument of Alice and her daughter Marie was erected there by Joseph Bohm. She was the first child of Queen Victoria to die, with her mother outliving her by more than 20 years. Victoria noted the coincidence of the dates of Albert and Alice's deaths as almost incredible and most mysterious. Writing in her journal on the day of Alice's death, Queen Victoria referred to the recent sufferings of the family, this terrible day come round again. Shocked by grief, she wrote to her daughter Princess Victoria, My precious child, who stood by me and upheld me seventeen years ago on the same day taken, and by such an awful and fearful disease. She had darling Papa's nature, and much of his self-sacrificing character and fearless and entire devotion to duty. The animosity that Victoria had towards Alice seemed no longer present. Princess Victoria expressed her grief to her mother in a 39-page letter, and deeply mourned Alice, the sister to whom she was closest. However, both she and her husband were forbidden from attending the funeral by the Emperor of Germany, who was worried about their safety. Alice's death was felt in both Britain and Hesse. The Times wrote, the humblest of people felt that they had the kinship of nature with a princess who was the model of family virtue as a daughter, a sister, a wife and a mother. Her abundant sympathies sought for objects of help in the great unknown waste of human distress. The Illustrated London News wrote that the lesson of the late princess's life is as noble as it is obvious. Moral worth is far more important than high position. The death was also heavily felt by the royal family especially by Alice's brother and sister-in-law, the Prince and Princess of Wales. The Princess of Wales, upon meeting the Queen after Alice's death, exclaimed I wish I had died instead of her. The Prince, meanwhile, wrote to Earl Granville that Alice was my favorite sister. So good, so kind, so clever. We had gone through so much together. Alice founded the Alice Hospital in Darmstadt in 1869 to treat the city's sick and wounded. The organization continued to flourish long after Alice's death, and in 1953, her grandson Louis, Earl Mountbatten of Burma gave a lecture on the hospital. He spoke highly of Alice, saying, for her, the point of departure always remained a human being who was ill and needed help, and his needs in war and peace. At his side stood the person willing to give help, wishing to ameliorate his needs and for this purpose could make use of an organization which was becoming more and more streamlined. Among Alice's other establishments were the Alice Society for Women's Training and Industry, for the purpose of educating women, and the Princess Alice Women's Guild, an organization devoted to training nurses. These organizations were especially active and important during the Austro-Prussian War, but the time Alice dedicated to them annoyed her husband who saw them as consuming his wife's time at his expense. There are memorials to Alice in Darmstadt, Germany, Whippingham, Isle of Wight, and in the Frogmore Royal Mausoleum, Windsor. Alice's descendants went on to play significant roles in world history. Her fourth daughter, Alex, married Tsar Nicholas II of Russia, passing her mother's gene for hemophilia on to her only son, the Tsarevich Alexei. Alex, her husband, and her children were killed by the Bolsheviks in the city of Ekaterinburg in the summer of 1918, 16 months after the February Revolution forced Nicholas to abdicate. Alice's second daughter, Elizabeth, who had married Grand Duke Sergei Alexandrovich of Russia, and had become a nun after his assassination in 1905, met a similar fate, being killed by the Bolsheviks the day after the former Tsar and Tsaritsa. Louis Mountbatten, son of Alice's eldest daughter, Victoria, was the last viceroy of India. He was assassinated by the IRA in 1979. Prince Philip of Greece and Denmark, her great-grandson through Victoria's daughter Princess Alice of Battenberg, 
married Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom. Thanks for watching her story channel. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel.